In New Haven, Connecticut, a suspect was arrested for having a gun, did not have a permit apparently, and he was handcuffed and placed in the back of a police transport van. No seat belts, not secured. When the driver, as you'll see in this video, honks his horn and hits the brakes to prevent an accident, the suspect in the back flies head first into the back door of the van, breaking his neck. The driver calls for an ambulance to be at the police station when he arrives. What comes next is very strange. Number one, I, I thought it was the 80s when we stopped uh, not securing our uh, suspects with a seatbelt when we transport them from the place of arrest to the county jail. You know, the law says buckle up for safety. That goes for people that we arrest and transport as well. So now this suspect has a broken neck and he's laying on the floor when he, they arrive at the book inn and he says, uh, I can't move. I think my neck is broke. Hey folks, isn't that a big flag, a big red flag? I can't move. I think my neck is broke. Well, what do they do? They drag him out of the van, as you'll see in the video, throw him into a wheelchair. Fly, he's flopping around with a broken neck. Take him into book in, as you'll see in the video, and they slide him out of the wheelchair and drag him around in there. Wow. Totally unacceptable. Now, look. 28.8 years I was in law enforcement corrections. We have to call it when it's wrong. And as you'll see in the video, the uh, assistant chief of police, I believe it is, he's going to tell you it was absolutely wrong what they did. Where did common sense go, folks? Where did your training? I bet this agency is going to have a lot of training on transport procedures from this point forward. Now they have to worry about a big lawsuit. That's what happens when we don't pay attention to detail. Watch the video. Tell me what you think. It's not fun to watch this video. Everything is done improperly. Thanks for watching. Here's the video. Handcuffed suspect in a police van who was not strapped in when the vehicle made an abrupt stop, slammed into the petition, broke his neck, and now he's paralyzed. So what's it like in the back of a police van during a rough ride? Jim Murray finds out in this report, which video, have to tell you, is upsetting for some viewers. It started at a block party in New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> Police took 36-year-old Randy Cox into custody after cops say he was illegally carrying a gun. <laughs> Cox was handcuffed and placed inside a police van. The van was not equipped with seat belts. Suddenly, and this is difficult to watch, the officer driving the van slams his brakes to avoid an accident. <laughs> That's when Cox goes flying head first. He smashes his head and slumps. Then he calls for help. I can't hear you. It took the officer nearly four minutes to check on him. Can you move at all? I can't move. He radioed for an ambulance to meet them at the police station. Move your leg. I can't move. You're not even trying. They dragged Cox out of the van and lifted him into a wheelchair. But then he was processed and once again dragged into a holding cell where he lay unable to move. Mr. Cox was mistreated. Um, he should have received medical attention immediately. I spoke with Cox's sister, Latoya Boomer, who says he's now paralyzed from the chest down. It made me sick to my stomach. I couldn't actually finish the whole video. They should be ashamed of themselves.